Hey guys, welcome back. I was going through a lot of blog post internet searches where I was looking for SaaS ideas or micro SaaS ideas. And I went through a lot of YouTube videos, by the way, like SaaS ideas you want to steal in 2024. Also, I was very much impressed with this video. Three SaaS ideas you can steal in 2024. Today, we have a very fast production of all these AI models. Like recently, we came up with this GPT-4 or the GPT-4 Omni. These models are, have high potentials. Like you can literally generate a lot of text in a very small amount of time with a huge uh, context window with a very less pricing models. Thus, it allows us to build product on top of it. And that is why I was like thinking, what are the latest ideas which we can leverage to build our own products? If you are someone who wants to have your own company, I feel this is the best time to start that, especially using AI. It would be nice to make this video where we can just build an AI product from scratch or a micro SaaS from scratch. It might not be directly uh, based on the idea which you are thinking at this point, but can be extended or can be used or can be tweaked in your way. So we are building Data Button now. Data Button is an online platform for building web apps for non-technical people as well as for technical people. So if you know how to code in Python or React, Data Button is super, super ideal for you because it has this Python backend where you have all these functionalities, you can just accumulate that and connect that with a React frontend. And if you're a non-coder, you just prompt your ideas. The data button has its own agentic framework that will help you to build this from scratch within, let's say, days. I would say within a few minutes or hours will be uh, over uh, hyped because it takes time to build a full product. So within couple of days, you can literally have a MVP or a demo app just via prompting. And if you really know how to code or you know how to tweak the code, I think that would be super fast. You can just do it within a day or two. So speaking of that, let me share with you what was one of the ideas which I felt would be great to demonstrate for today's use case where we build a micro SaaS from scratch. Uh, if you see in this particular timestamp, here it says that idea one, basically what I'm talking about, an AI-based content creation tool that streamlines the process of creating content for busy individuals or companies. So you can use the long format video and convert into a, a tweet, a thread of tweets or a thread of LinkedIn post or a newsletter. This is something which we can try now and try to build it all from scratch by ourselves. So all I would do is copy this entire idea so I'll just create a new app in data button and paste this enter um, idea. And I hit this next button now. So what data button does is it goes along with you. So it's a collaborative effect between the end user and data button agent. It's a whole agentic framework which is coming together now, helping us to build an app from scratch. So if you see the first thing, it says that, would you like to start by designing the main interface where users can input their content requirements? It has this additional process, generate content based on user input, connect the UI to the backend capabilities, implement authentication if needed, test the app and refine the user experience. So how I would approach is you convert that video into uh, audio and from audio you get the text out of it and then you dump everything into a large language model. It creates your own Twitter threads. It's super easy when we say this way, but we have this nitty gritty which we need to implement. I just prompt this idea out here. All I need is a URL input box and a submit button. Okay, so the URL input box will be basically our YouTube video, right? And uh, I would uh, like to have the enter UI in white, the button and any widgets can be in black, text in color. Okay, so, ah, uh, wait. I would just edit this prompt, text, color in white, sorry. And I'll just send, hit the send button here. 
So I just say that, you know, I want the entire app to be in white and the button to be in black and uh, the text color in white. I hope that would look better. So let's see how the widget turns up. Or yeah, we already have something. It's enter your submit button. I think that's already a pretty good start. Uh, the next thing which I would like to have, uh, can I have a, have a light and dark toggle for my UI? Let's see if it can do this also or not. So building a UI using data button is super easy. You just, as you can see, just prompt it, you get your UI super fast. One thing we should also remember, like we have this edit code blog out here. So you can always, if you, someone who knows how to write code in React, it is very easy as well. So now the agent is reviewing the code and making sure the code should work. It's saving the app. All these notification will pop up here. And if there is a bug, by the way, if there is a bug, it also says that. Uh, I see an error here. And maybe at times you can just... Uh, just paste the error. It's more like an interactive conversation with the AI agent, which tries to fix the bug. And if it cannot, if you just pass the bug or the console log from here, it reviews the app and it reviews the code and it makes sure that it, it fixes it. And at times it can be, once or twice it goes into a loop and then finally it fixes it as well. So now it says that it has fixed it. Uh, I would just refresh the button here. And now we already have something. So if I just click this, uh, let's see. I don't like the position of it. Oh yeah, perfect. It's working pretty cool. So we have our UI almost there. I mean, I think it's, it's pretty much there, right? So it has the dark and the light mode transition as well. That's perfect for us now. So would you like to test the toggle function now or proceed with the function to submit button? Yeah, I would like to add functionality to the submit button. So the function for a submit button would be first converting the video to audio, audio to text, and then do rest of the task, right? So let's proceed by adding first to the submit button. What should happen when the user submits a URL, for example, should go an API process or all this stuff?